Caddo Smart Start wants to inform parents and grandparents about enrolling your child in an early childhood program. As Patrick mentioned, scholarships are available for some Caddo Smart Start students. If you've ever heard about the terrible twos, you might want to consider early childhood education. We're in the two-year-old classroom here with Caddo Smart Start, and Angie McKitchen joins me now, and you help coordinate all of the centers. And it really does take a village, doesn't it? It does, it does. There are so many entities involved in Caddo Smart Start. But what some people don't realize is that we do offer some scholarship opportunities for our children so that parents have the support and the way to get their children involved in early childhood education. So we have community partners such as the Community Foundation, the City of Shreveport, along with the Louisiana Department of Education who match funds to help fund these scholarships to support our children and make sure that they're getting support in early childhood learning that they need so that they're ready for kindergarten. How do parents access those scholarships? So what parents need to do first is go to catasmartstar.com and they need to look and see which centers are eligible for those scholarships and that's available on the website and then they go to those centers and those centers will help them fill out the applications needed to apply for those scholarship opportunities. And you also have some in-person events uh, March 25th. Tell me about the three dates. So we have three dates. Uh, there are one in March, March 25th. We've got two in April. I believe April 15th and April 29th. Correct. They're all at our community centers and parks around the area. And parents can go there and there will be people on hand to help them find the centers that are right for their child and help start that application process if they're interested in the scholarship program. Why is it so important for children birth to five to have early education? Well, learning begins at birth. That's the most important thing. And we don't need to wait until it's time to start school at kindergarten. We need to start early because the brain is just learning and absorbing so much information and we need to make sure that we give every opportunity to a child to learn. We're excited about this time of year and that everybody's applying and enrolling in our programs. Sounds great. Angie McKitchen, thank you so much. Again, the website is caddosmartstart.com. Melody's joining me right now. We're talking a little bit about the importance of early childhood education. If I think back a little bit, you know, thinking back to way back when I was in school there too, I wouldn't think necessarily that how I act in middle school actually could have been influenced by if I got an earlier start in education interaction with others, but right. that is the case. That's the case. Positive interaction is what we really push and that's the beginning. Because if you get positive interaction in, you're able to, to do things that normally you couldn't have because of behavior, mm -hmm. negative behavior. And so they, you know, they come from environments, sometimes it's great, sometimes need a little help, but when they come to your classroom in early childhood, they get it every day. So we first of all, when we start thinking about early childhood education, we went first of all, sorry about pre-K, then mm -hmm. it was pre-K three, yes. and now it starts as early as what? As infancy. Wow. As, as soon as they read, as soon as their mom's ready to sound weird, because they start at home from the day, because like they said earlier, they only had, they were born with like 25% of the size of an adult brain. But by the time they're three, it's up to 90%. Wow. And so it's a lot, it's cognitive, it's arts, it's uh, physical, it's language, it's literacy, and all that starts, people say, well, how do you do that yeah. at an infant? And my final thing for you is that, do you have a tough time to get that message across to parents to make them understand that this is important? Sometimes, yeah. sometimes parents, see this as in the old school where it was babysitting you say it one two three a b c but it goes beyond that because we're teaching them to inquire they're having inquiring skills at this age people have questions and all best source they can go obviously online right online yes to smartstart.com caddo smartstart yeah, caddo smart, com. yeah caddo there you go and so you find out more information there and again learn the importance of early childhood education yes. like melody said all the way back to the age of just an infant here are the times and places where you can go by and sit down with someone who will help you fill out your application. You can go and attend on March 25th and go to David Raines Community Center or April the 15th at Billberry Park Community Center and also one scheduled for April the 29th at A.B. Palmer Community Center. 
And you know, one of those dates is April 15th, which is also tax day. Hmm, cannot think of a better thing to do on that day than an investment in your child's future. Good, good point. We'll be right back. It won't be today.